Well, we're back at the beach. This time we're going to talk about trying something new. In previous videos, we spoke about living your own life, which is basically doing things your way and not being told that uh, another way is the way that you got to do it and that's the only way you got to do it. And then we talked about making your own path or doing things while you still can in another video, which basically meant that you could order things the way that you want to order them. Like you don't have to do the, the whole thing that Susan spoke about, which was what? <laughs> Going what, to, the, the college, the house, you know, then the retire, then you have fun. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with that if that's your way, but it's it was all about making your own way. But in this video, we want to talk about trying something new and specifically not getting into some type of rut or routine for its own sake. <laughs> yeah, and it's very easy to do that. A lot of us tend to live in our comfort zone which is you know can be a very narrow uh, specific uh, way of living as far as you know going to the same restaurants going to the same campgrounds whatever uh, it can be and so and I think we were kind of guilty of that yeah, a lot when we definitely. lived in our house we were very much in a routine and a rut and since we've been our being we're really making an effort to find some kind of a balance between what is known and what is comfortable and what is new and adventurous. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, even the simple things, like I know that sometimes I'll go to a restaurant and I'll get a certain type of item on the menu and I'll think, wow, you know, I like this. And then each time I go back, I'm a little bit worried about <laughs> trying something different because I know I like that other yeah. thing. But you know, sometimes I've just said, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and try something different. And then I find out, oh, this is my new favorite thing. Yeah. So, you know, had I not uh, made that huge risk, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have uh, known that something else uh, is going to taste good on, on that, that menu. Could we get in this kind of a routine? And there, I guess there's nothing wrong with that because it, it it's, it's safe for us and it's uh, proven and so we yeah. kind of do that but sometimes our routine can become routine yeah. <laughs> and we miss out on a lot of different things like the RV parks that we've visited sometimes when we take a certain route we would just go back to the same, same place, place yeah. because we knew it was good and and I guess part of us didn't want to risk uh, you know you know getting a bad experience at another place but you know it, it's really kind of uh, limiting when we do that so we've been trying to just try different things yeah there's we know people at kind of at both extremes of that there's people that only go uh, to this RV park in the summer this one in the winter they take the same route stop at the same gas stations the same restaurant eat the same thing and that's uh, you know a complete routine for them and then there's people that absolutely refuse to go to the same park twice and they are always going somewhere new and that's what works for them for us I think we're just we're trying to find a balance in between there where that you know we can go to you know some place that's familiar at some times and then at other times just not to be afraid to try something new as well but not you know not having the pressure of always having to right. feel like we have to do something new but yeah. having the, the you know the courage or whatever <laughs> yeah. to just go ahead and try something new sometimes you know well, yeah throw something in there maybe you aren't really a hiker and you hear people talk about hiking maybe you can just find a, a, a flat easy trail to meander around on and not feel like you're any in any rush or have to complete any length of it but just to get out there and, and, and experience something different uh, you know people talk about going you know hang gliding or <laughs> skydiving and things like that it you know that that could be great it doesn't have to be that elaborate it could just be just something different that you yeah. just haven't haven't done in a long time yeah I, I always remember you know when you're a kid your parents tell you to you know try different foods that you haven't tried and I'd always say no I don't like that and, well how do you know you don't like it you haven't tried it so <laughs> that, yeah, she's I guess tried there's a lot, a lot of, of truth in that Susan's tried that a lot of different things know. with uh, 
with me. Yeah. I've, I've encouraged her a little bit, but you know, not, not so much that it spoils the experience because you don't want to pressure someone to do something that they don't want, but you know, a little bit of encouragement yeah. and now you like some of those yeah. things. So. Yep. And it's very true. You don't know until you try. So, so anyway, we just want to encourage you to try something new and something that you come up with. It doesn't have to be anything that we mentioned. Yeah, but just, and like you said, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate either. Just, you know, just try to always just put a little bit of something new into your life. <laughs> All right, so why don't you feel free to make a comment and let us know if you're going to try something new or maybe you have been recently. Let us know in the comments what you've been trying. And don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.